Hello Architects and welcome back to another RPG Architect tutorial. My name is Bert and it feels like it's been a while, but uh, I'm back here today. We are going to be tackling uh, setting up an inventory in your main menu. So let's just go ahead and jump on into it. As per usual, we're going to hit F8, bring up our database. Oh, look at that. I'm on title. Um, first thing I want to do today is I'm going to create some items. I'm just going to start with that, knock it out. Um, so we're going to come up to items. Um, we're going to resize. I think I'll make four just basic things. I'm going to name them just some basics. Potion. We'll do a high potion. We will do ether and super duper mega ether. Right? Pretty basic. Um, type, I will set these as recovery. So over here, I'm going to come down to item types, resize. This is where you'd set things like um, recovery item. You could do attack item. You could do key items. You could do equipment. Maybe another one. Pretty sure you would, yeah, do equipment. Or you could do, you know, weapons, war armor, etc. Um, let's do equipment for now. Uh, you can set the max stacked number. You could set a sound effect for each individual type of item. Um, but for right now, we're just going to go back to our items list. We're going to go to potion. We're going to set it to recovery. High potion, also recovery. Ether, also recovery. And super duper mega ether is also recovery. Um, let's see, we're gonna add in a description. We're just gonna say heals 100 HP. High potion will do heals 250 HP. Ether heals 50 MP. And super duper mega ether will say this um, cures depression, anxiety, and uh, rosacea. There we go. Yeah, basic stuff. Um, let's see, we'll go back to potion. Uh, we can set up an icon, and now if I click here, you can see I don't have any icons currently in my project. So let me just show you how to do that real quick because it will come in handy for the when we get to the actual menu. So in system, come down to general, and this is where you set your icon list. So you click on that. Oh, I need to upload mine. I didn't do that. I should have done that ahead of time. Um, look away. Just, just look away for a second. A few moments later. Okay, so yeah, back in, in system in general, you got user interfaces icons, just click that. We have this lovely little icon list done by Noob K, and I will be using that today. Uh, and then also while I'm here, I wanna set the icon width and height, and I know for this sheet in particular, the icons are 16 by 16. So set that, come back up here to items, potion. We will set the first icon. Uh, we'll do this red one. Should have zoomed in for you. High potion, we will do, let me zoom in a little bit. We'll do this one. Ether, we will do just same as the, same as the regular potion, but blue. And super duper mega ether, uh, cures depression, anxiety, and rosacea. We will do um, how about this green skull? Yep, that's what we'll do. Um, let's see. You could set sound effects for when you use them. Um, I'm not gonna do that. It's okay. This is really. Oh, actually, this is mostly what I wanted to do. You know, back down below here we have battle. Um, functions down here in data you have cost so this is how much it will cost to buy it in the shop we're not getting into shops yet today you can have is instanced whether it's a unique instance or uh, like so like a 
uh, unique, I think, is, yeah, unique instance incapable of being stacked is required. That makes it like a key item, so you can't drop it or sell it. Uh, can you use in battle? It's a potion, so I'll click yes, but I'm not getting to it today. Is used in menu? Yes. You have a bunch of other things, random uses, max and minimum, success formulas, number of uses, how many people you use it on. We're just going to do, we're just, we can even just leave it at none for right now. Um, oops, 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 there we go. Because uh, I think it, I don't think I changed this in my test and it still worked. So I'm just going to leave it like that and if I screw up, well, you know, there we go. You can also set items to be uh, linked to a global script, so that's cool. So if you need it to be something more than than just, uh, you know, heals 100 HP or whatever, you need something a little bit elaborate, you can set that up here. You'd click it and then, you know, select whatever script it is. Um, you can also have it tied to skills. So anyway, that was just a quick rundown on the items menu options because I haven't gone through any of these yet, but we are still on our potion. So over here on the right side, I'm going to click this plus icon and this is where you determine what the items do. So we want it to affect a statistic. We want it to affect HP. We want it to adjust by, you can adjust by a percentage, so if you have a potions that cure 25% of HP or 50% of HP rather than a set value, you just set it like that. But we want it to be 100 HP as per our description, so you click that, and boom, that's that for that one. We're going to come back to uh, high potion, we're going to do the same thing, set it to HP, adjust by, or adjust by, there we go, just by value. 250. Ether, same thing. We are going to do MP, just by value, 50. And I'm not gonna do anything for the super duper mega ether because that will take some hard coding to get all that stuff cured in or um, um, affected. So, yeah. <laughs> anyway, okay, so that's it for, <coughs> excuse me, that's it for our items set up so now let's get to the meat of what today's lesson is going to be about so over here on user interfaces i've already set up a couple of extra interfaces just for the sake of time so i've got an items menu interface oops i didn't get rid of that ignore ignore i've got an items menu um just the pane set up and i'll go through and set up the uh the info here with you and we have I have a separate party members menu and you'll see what that's about when the time comes I'll, I'll get to this this is, but I basically just uh, copied over from the menu and I got rid of this side stuff okay it'll make sense so in our items menu we need a couple things we need a templated list and this is gonna be called inventory and I'm gonna make just a regular text item and I'm gonna call this descri description so first up inventory we want well actually first up uh, let's go over here user interface type you want it to be a menu scroll down you want the context to be inventory okay now on our templated list I'm going to set my orientation to horizontal so it's it goes bing 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 bing. Um, template type, you want to set it to inventory slot. Uh, you want to use custom context items. You can use custom context items. I think this is important. I can't remember from my tests, but this is what I have in my, in my other project. So I'm just going to show you that's what I did. Okay. Hey everyone, Editing Bert here. Uh, I was going to do a lock says for this little bit, but uh, I couldn't figure out a way to concisely explain this, so here I am. Um, you would use custom context if you had all of your inventory uh, elements listed in your main menu. So for my example, if I was building this out as a templated list in main menu, or in menu, then I would use custom context on that templated list. But since I am creating a separate user interface entirely, I wouldn't have to do this. But 
No harm, no foul. Just wanted to explain that real quick. Okay, back to the tutorial. Next up, we're going to go to item components. We're going to add three things. We're going to do two text and one picture. So first text, we're going to call it item name. Second one, we're going to call it item cutie quantity. And then we're going to have an icon. Okay. So let's go to item name. Let's set this up here. I'm going to set all my text to 36 font size. I think that's just been what I've done throughout this whole series. Text, we're going to use templates. And this, the template for this is going to be name. I think that's it for that. Okay, just use template name. Item quantity, use template, count. Also set it to 36. And then the icon, we're going to, under image, use template, and call it icon. Actually, let me get rid of that. Let me do that last because, well, you can see why. All right, so, but yeah, now I gotta set up my uh, placement of everything. So, I know from my tests that I want it to be 85 relative width, I want my X to be 12, and I want my relative Y to be 26. Now remember, these values I put in, it's just for my, my layout. Um, you know, if you have a different layout, your positioning will be different. Just, but yeah, first I'm setting my position on the left here. Uh, then I'm gonna set, under item details, I think I want it to be, Relative width can stay at 50. The relative height I'm going to set to 10. You see I got more in there. And now I'm going to come over to item quantity. And I'm going to separate these out. So item quantity needs to be at... I just need to move the relative x over. Let's do 50. There we go. So there's that. And now let's set up our icon. Let's turn it back uh, on. Use template for image. There we go. There's that. An icon I know off the top of my head not really I'm gonna do 68 I'm gonna do negative 16 I'm gonna do 14 I'm gonna do 93 okay I found these values just by experimenting and getting it to how I wanted it to roughly look. You know, it's not going to be the prettiest thing in the world, but it's just it's, it's to show you guys, okay? So now we have all that placed, um, I'm going to come to description, my text item description, click on that, set my font to 36, uh, is linked, you want to set it to is linked to selected context. Uh, in, in the context section, then up above that, use template description. Now I just need to pop that in place, drop it down here, something about like that. Okay. Alright, so we've created items, we've created our item menu. Um, let's see, next up, what I want to do... Alright, before I forget, because this popped in my head. So we have the item menu. Let me come back up to my menu, my menu menu, my menu user interface, my main menu. How many times can I say the word menu in 30 seconds? I'm gonna go to my item list, the templated list here. Um, or that's just a regular list, not templated, excuse me. Um, click on the item, and now under execute, we need it to open up menu, open our items menu. All right, so now when we select the items, it will open up our new menu. Bam, okay. We've created items, we've created the menu, our main menu is linked to this one. Now we need to tell the engine what to do when somebody selects one of these things, okay? So under inventory, templated list. We're going to scroll down to the bottom. We're going to go to execute. And really the, the code here is not too bad or the, the commands here are not too bad. So first thing I want to do, 
I'm gonna right click, we're gonna go to user interface. We're gonna save the context unique ID. So we are telling the engine we are on, you know, this item or this item or this one. We are saving the unique ID. We're gonna use a global variable. I'm gonna use number six. We're gonna call this selected item. Hit okay. Next, I'm going to change a switch. I'm gonna create a switch, a global switch. Uh, I'm gonna call this use item. And while I'm at it, I'm gonna create a second switch called use item success, okay? But I need to use switch, use item. All right, we need to turn that on. And now, with those two set, we are going to open our other menu, our party members menu, okay? So you're telling the engine, save the unique ID of whatever item it is. You're turning on a switch saying, I use item is on, and we are going to a new menu. Now I wanna mention here that if you were doing all of this in one user interface, uh, like Mondoon is creating his 2D template that will be out soon, and he did all these functions within one user interface item, and so rather than using global variables, he was able to use local variables because it's all contained in the same, uh, same item. But since I am jumping from menu to items menu to party members, I need to use a global just so that they can read across them. Does that make sense? Okay. Anyway, that's it for there. Now I'm going to go to party members. So after you select an item, it will open this up. I'm going to click on my character info templated list. If you're not sure what, how I did all this, this was part of uh, when I set up my menu, my main one. I just basically copied it over and I got rid of these. I think I said that already. but. Yeah, it's exactly the same. So character info templated list, come down here. You'll see I got all that crap still in here. That's all my name, my portraits, the stats, blah, 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 blah. Uh, but I need to go down here to execute. Under execute, I need to do a conditional branch. And in this branch, if global switch use item is on, then we are going to save context unique ID. And in this case, I can do local. Open, I already got it, I already got it made. Okay, you can create a local variable, call it selected hero, or call it whatever you want, hero, party member, blah, blah, blah. You can do a local, you can do a global too if you want. Um, if you want to use the same variable across different things, but you save the unique ID to a variable, and then inventory, use item. You're gonna select hero. Here in under use item, inventory item, you have the hero, you have the inventory item, and you have the results. So unique ID for the hero. You can select the party slot. You can use a local variable or a global. Um, however you want to do it. I've used a local, so I'm going to do local variable, selected hero, okay? Makes sense. Inventory item, unique ID, we are going to select that global variable where we saved it before, selected item. Okay, and then we are going to store the results, and we are going to use the use item success variable, okay? Um, so now, what I want to do is just underneath this, I want another conditional to basically say, you know, whether or not this was a success. And so if use item success is on, this should be turned on after this, if the, you know, if the item was usable, then we are going to we're gonna play what am I thinking we're gonna play a little sound effect so sound effect I'll go to magic 
since this is since I'm just setting up healing items, I'm just gonna just set a heal sound here. That one will be fine. Um, if you had very, if you didn't want a heal sound, you would have to uh, probably set it up in the items menu itself, or the uh, uh, item section of the database itself. But anyway, yeah, so if it is a success, you play a good sound. Otherwise, we will play a bad sound. Um, that's way too bad. Let's just do error. <laughs> yeah, that'll work. <laughs> that's a lot simpler. Um, actually, let me change my eye. But yeah, I got item sound, so... We're gonna do item two, okay. I think that's about it. So we got use item, we got the variables selected, we got use inventory item, it selects the hero, it selects the item itself, it tells you whether or not it's a success, and then you got conditions on whether, if it was a success, play good sound, if it was not a success, play bad sound, okay? And the only other thing I need to do is, you may have noticed I switched my starting position. I'm going to have this nice lady here. Uh, I already set up some things. She gives you some items, and then she takes some damage from the party. Um, I didn't have the items made, so let's do inventory. Change inventory. Let's give... 20 potions. Somebody's being very loud outside. That's just my life. 20 potions. We'll do 10 high potions. We will do 5 ethers. And we will do One mega ether. Okay. All right, so it should be good. We should be ready to test. So let's run this and let's see where I screwed up this time. Whoops, and I did, I messed something up. I forgot to put a cursor. So I'm gonna come back to my items menu, inventory, set up my cursor, old reliable, red, pointing right, select that one. Type pointer left, there it is. Uh, let's go over here, like about negative 18. Let's go up, right about there, okay. All right, now let's try it. All right, so let's talk to this nice lady here. Beth, here's some items. Got a bunch of junk. That'll cost you 200 HP, thank you. Everyone took damage. Okay, and now we will check in the menu. You can see, yes, indeed, everybody took 200 HP of damage. Gorlock is holding on by a thread. Uh, Miss Guppy is not even phased. So we're going to go into items. Then we have potion. We got 20 of them. We got high potion. We got ether. Heals 50 MP. We got the description going on up here. We got super duper mega ether. Here's depression, anxiety, rosacea, and in the title, as is my calling card customary to me, I made the title too long and so it is bleeding over into the quantity, but that is okay. Uh, so we're gonna go back to potion first. We're gonna use a potion. So it brings up this menu. You can see I go down, I can scroll through my party members. Let's go to Gorlock first. I use it, get that item sound. 100 HP healed, cool. This guppy. 100 HP heal, awesome. Let's do one more on Gorlock. Cool. Our inventory is updated, so now we have 17. We're gonna use a high potion. Let's use it on Gab. Gab is fully healed. We got nine eight high potion. And let's use one more on Bertimus. There we go. All right, and then lastly, let's check, let's go back. Uh, let's go to our ether. Since nobody has lost any MP, we're gonna go ahead and try to use one on Gab. And we get that uh, sound. Cool. Yeah, there you go. 
a pretty basic little uh, inventory system. We can get more complex here in the future um, of like having two different menus, one with like key items and whatnot, and we, obviously we will have equipment that we need to do. That's probably a good one for me to do here soon. Um, but this will get you get you going with setting up your inventory. All right, I think that's it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. Um, be sure to like and subscribe. Check out all the tutorials. We got a playlist going. Join our Discord, and if you don't have it, grab your copy of RPG Architect. It's a really fun little engine. No coding required. You just gotta uh, understand the logic behind the system. Good stuff. Okay. As always, I have been Bert. You have been amazing, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye. Oh,